That's when we tried to change the name of the political party so that uh, we shorten the, the name in order for people, uh, villagers, to be able to pronounce the name uh, and instead of calling it NURP, which is National Unity Reconciliation and the Women's Party, we shortened it to uh, National Unity Platform, which is the NUP. Uh, that was to help our people on the grassroots to be able to grasp the name of the political party. We had a meeting of 41 members uh, when we were changing that party from UNRP to NUP. So we invited the 41 members that didn't please some of our, our, our other members. So some of those other members decided to take matters to court. Uh, as we speak now, the matter is before court. Uh, but uh, much as uh, the matters are still below, before court, we had already I took a change of mind that uh, we shouldn't really cope up with these uh, young men because they have not fulfilled all the uh, promises that we had made to affect their changes. We formed the party far back in 2004 without knowing whether Chagulan would ever come on board, whether they would come on stage or whatever it is. So we formed a political party and we've been running it on our own without anybody's funding, without funding from the government. But of course when someone comes up, turns up with an offer of something, you know, to go as good as five million US dollars, any individual would go in for the same. That's how we fell into the trap. It was a good promise, we hoped so. And then, we, of course, we had not worked with this, this group. We, couldn't, we wouldn't know them until we get closer to them and we say, hey, what's this? We have, we have messed our, we are messing up our party. If we didn't bring in this uh, people power group, the party would have been, would be still flourishing very well mm -hmm. and without incidents or complaints. But uh, along the way, you make a mistake and sometimes you want to rectify it Sometimes you, you may succeed in rectifying such mistakes, sometimes it becomes very difficult. Formerly they had promised uh, a lot of prisoners, including uh, the commercial enterprises that I was, uh, that had been gestured and were awaiting licensing or authorization. But they promised me that uh, since uh, they were coming in power, they could be able to uh, license most of my enterprises, the Export Import Bank of Uganda Limited, the Capital City Trade Zone, and many others. So, when they uh, gave us very good promises, we chose to take them on, hoping for that uh, good offers to come our way. Uh, for example, we had an expectation of about $5 million that when they are Sponsors finally bring in this money through whatever source I don't know. Then these people would be able to give us five million dollars. It was not documented. 
that you have a, a mutual uh, understanding. understanding that this money, this money will be passed from to us if we give them uh, any way to contest it through our political party. So we, uh, we agreed that we give them the political party, we give them the platform, and they will be there cooperating with us in many ways. Uh, they promised positions, various positions to be holding powerful positions within the political party and that uh, at the end of it we have that five million dollars to assist us in our dilemma, financial dilemma. So we agreed in principle uh, we think the promise of uh, that good amount of money was quite a good one. So I believe we went in uh, a venture, but it was eventually when we took on that venture, we thought, we thought it could materialize very well. Uh, we took step after another, one after another, hoping that these people would expedite uh, the payment of the five million dollars, but up to the time when we were not seeing that money, it became a problem. We had the also to change our mind. And they say this is probably a bad deal. We shouldn't have gone in it. <coughs> Definitely we shouldn't have gone in it. Because even um, administrative wise when you look at polit political parties or offices, you if I nominate someone to stand in a certain area uh, these uh, electoral processes. And someone does not own hmm? Someone does not own uh, my appointment. So that it shows you the type of people we've been dealing with. Until when time came, and uh, we thought we should continue with the final process. So. You find that it's totally useless to work with such a group or team. So we gave up that idea. Yeah, my name is Asimwa Paul Mutiakombe, uh, 39 years of age. I was a Secretary General of a National Unity Platform before the new leadership of uh, Chagulani came in and I participated in the um, processes that uh, transpired to, to reach a consensus with um, people power to work together with us. And um, having been a Secretary General from uh, 2017 to 2019, around 2019, I happened to be the custodian of all the party documents and records. We, we were reached sometime by the power team when they expressed interest to, to work with us. Theirs was a pressure group which wasn't registered in the fraternity of uh, the political parties and they could not really participate fully as they wished. And uh, having tried all areas in the established political parties and they failed, they came to us. Of course, uh, they came with uh, promises, even on earth, that if we work together with them, we would reach somewhere. However, things uh, started not uh, moving well, though this marriage has not taken quite a long time. Uh, there were a number of things that uh, didn't go well as far as uh, the MOU that we had with them is concerned. And uh, being the Senior Administrative Secretary, 
and having been having been an active secretary general in this formation i tried to guide how we are supposed to be moving but uh, there were a lot of lapses and i could always draw back ask these people are we really moving towards attaining the power that we need because we we, we assume the government hasn't worked well and we want to make a new formulation what are we going to do if we can't even manage our internal things rightly we have a guiding tool which is the party constitution which i believe has been uh, abrogated in the shortest possible time that we have been moving with them they promised uh, us that they would give us a lump sum of five million us dollars that is when the money comes from they are donors because they have uh, uh, funders from outside sources and this has not come to pass and uh, it is not even talked about in the line of discussion but what is quite disturbing is basically the internal mechanism because when this political party that I was the secretary general too the party had its objectives and the, the ways of how we wanted it run. But when you look at uh, how things are done by the people we match with, you terribly get to understand that we can't really attain the objectives of national unity platform as to why it was formed. So this is why we thought otherwise. A lot was promised, uh, gentlemanly, and every single time they could say it is about to happen. The money is going to come, the money is going to come, the money is about to come, and the money is not going to it's not coming. And actually, you see, people may, may, may receive it in a, in a bad faith. We need to package this way. The issue here is not about the money per se, because this is a political party which was formed with objectives. Okay? If the money hadn't come and the internal mechanism is running as per the agreement that we had made, the issue of money wouldn't be coming out so loud. Because somebody might hear about this and they say, hey, so it is about money, 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 money. No. It is all about creating sanity. It is all about they, they promised, but this is why we, we speak with confidence that we can, we, 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 we have the mandate to withdraw the MOU because it has not worked. We have a clear conscience, we understand what we are doing, we have not been forced and we are willing to cooperate in the interest of sanity to iron out the, 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 the differences that we have because we have realized clearly that we can't move with the other side for the basic reasons that I've outlined to you. There's no transparency, activities that are conducted are covertive. So when you are running a political party, you are supposed to be guided by the, the formation of the law of, of the land, that is the constitution of Uganda. We have uh, an act, that is the 20, 2005 Political Party and Organizations Act, which clearly guides how political parties are supposed to run their activities and even the internal mechanism which is the platform constitution so when you look at someone who tries to avert so that is basically what has happened between the time we we, we merged with the people power to date it is not about owning because the political party doesn't belong to an individual the political party belongs to to the nation, it is, a, it is, a, it is a, an entity which can't be owned by that one person. However, move if you move well with the constitution of that political party, anybody can become a president. That is if you followed the law outrightly. And in that effect of um, changing leadership, there are no questions. There are no questions because whatever that was done 
we, 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 we followed what the constitution says of the party. When you, vow, you reach the agreement to that magnitude, automatically, these are matters of national concern. We cannot try to play upon Ugandans in the name of negotiating again to mend the ties that we could have done according to how we negotiated. So here we are taking up a decision to retain our party because we didn't sell the party to them as uh, it was so claimed we don't have any agreement that the party was sold to them and in violation of uh, the MOU that we signed with them which is the binding document we cease to be a party to them we don't demand them now if they are people power they can move with their people power every time you receive calls threatening you why didn't you but of course we are trying to, to manage the situation by not uh, retaliating so much. We don't have to, we are trying to manage it in a way that we, we don't show up ourselves. So it is really a threat. We are giving them a chance. We are being too civil. We try to tell them, please, you are coming to, 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 to convince Ugandans to give you the high offices. But if you can't really be civil, then we have a problem. So, decision taken, we, well, we want to run our party according to the objectives to why it was formed.